Hey guys and welcome to the channel. This is video three of five. Please go and watch first uh, video one and video two first so that you can understand and get the gems and the nuances of all of what's in today's episode. So today we're going to be looking at hidden bearish divergence. <laughs> Loving that bear in that tree. I don't know if about you, but it's been the same with me that right at the beginning I was feeling frustrated. I was pulling my hair out because I just couldn't understand what it was that I wasn't getting about this hidden this hidden bullish and this hidden bearish divergence. Now, I'm going to help you unlock the secret today to find out what it is that we need to uh, be understanding first. Okay, so the things that we've been looking at in video one and video two with bullish and regular bearish divergence basically is that that was a turnaround. It was a warning sign that perhaps the uh, the direction of the trend was going to turn around and go in an, up, an opposite direction, similar to this car doing a, like a U-turn, right? Stop. This is the problem. That's what you're doing wrong, okay? It's a continuation of the pattern. And a continuation of the pattern is what you need to be looking for. So if the price is going up and we're looking at hidden bullish divergence, then hidden bullish divergence means the price will just keep going up, up, up. However, if we're looking at hidden bearish divergence like we are doing today, then the price will continue to go down in this down direction. So let's have a look at what we're doing wrong. So how can we find hidden bearish divergence? Well, the price needs to be going in a downwards direction, okay? And the RSI needs to be going in an upward direction. So, so just as the way as a bear would, would strike from the top down, we need to make sure that when we look at the price and we look at the RSI, that we're making sure that the price is going from the top down, okay? So the RSI is going up, whilst the prices are reaching lower lows. And that's important, making sure that we've got lower lows and lower highs on the price action, whilst the RSI is going up. And the reason why is because if the RSI keeps going up, it's going into an overbought area, okay? So which way should we be going? Well, we should be going down. The reason why, if you remember, is because we said that the hidden bearish divergence and hidden bullish is correct it's a continuation and that continuation is the key to the secret of how to understand hidden bullish and bearish divergence it unlocks that secret and frees you so when you hear about hidden bearish or hidden bullish what is it it's that continuation and there is the key okay guys so like subscribe Press that notification bell because when I release more tutorials, you'll be able to get the benefit from those tutorials as I release them. Okay, guys, I'll see you in video four where we're speaking about hidden bullish divergence. But by now, you should be kind of catching on. I'll see you there. Bye.